All right, so we are at the creek. This is a small creek that I used to come to a lot, actually, and we found some pretty cool stuff back in here. And I've not been here in over a year, so it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to walk it upstream there. You get to a certain point to where it's just all blocked and you have to turn back at that point. But it's a good probably half a mile of a walk, and there's a lot of little crevices and tree roots and stuff that you can dig up under with these nets. And uh, you can get some pretty cool stuff in here. So uh, we got our bucket, we got our nets, got the camera, we got the GoPro, and we're ready to go. The waterfall is new right here. This is going to be our first spot to check at. And, oh, gosh. Holy so, moly, dude. Oh my gosh, that's a problem in this creek. It gets, it gets to be like almost quicksand up here, so we'll get up here in a second. Here you go. This is what we're looking for right here. Oh, like a pool like this. This ain't gonna work, man. These nets are not, oh, got us a little fishy. We got something. What is this? A little bitty chub. They almost look like a little bitty trout. Look at that. A little bitty creek chub. They get a lot bigger than this, though, but uh, we'll put them in the bucket. We'll uh, see what all we have at the end. Oh, we got us one. Oh, we got us a couple, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we found us a mini honey hole right there. We got three or four of them. More of these little bitty creek chubs. I'm gonna drop them on in there. So this is the quicksand spot right here. I literally about two years ago lost a slide and it's somewhere in here. I don't know if it's there anymore, but it I went I sucked down. It's not as bad as it used to be, but right here I stepped and I went down to literally like right in here and I had to pull my leg out and when I did I lost the slide. So it it could still be down there, I don't know. But this is one of the best spots in the whole entire creek. Like just look at that. If you know anything about creek hunting and stuff you know that that right there is like a money looking spot so we're going to try all up in there and see what we, see what we can get but it's such a deep area of this creek there's got to be stuff in here just catching it is the problem we should set a trap out in here that's what we should do next time set some traps out in this creek and go, oh my gosh dude holy moly i just got about 10 of them in there look at that we just hit the money spot did you get some too yeah. look at that I knew there had to be some in here. This is one of the deepest areas of this whole entire creek. That is wild. Oh yeah, there we go. Another money spot, about five more. All right, I think we've pretty well cleared out this spot. This thing actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, we got probably about 30, 35 chubs now. We're not even halfway up the creek now. And when we get done going up here, we're gonna come back down we're going to go across the street and walk it a little bit further. It gets a little bit deeper over there. A little bit more dangerous, too, because there's a bunch of rocks. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what we get. Right now, nothing but chubs, but uh, there's still a lot of creek left to be discovered. So here we go. So we made our way all the way up the creek had to turn back of course like i was mentioning earlier because it just gets way too cluttered up there with a bunch of fallen trees didn't get nothing else but we did get a whole bunch of creek chubs check this out we're going to count them really fast and see just how many we got all right let's see how much that is right there look at that holy moly we didn't get any really big ones but there's a bigger one right there that one's all right decent size but Let's see, there's probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 right there. All right, I'm going to let them go downstream. They're going to go and find them a little cove somewhere. All right, and then we got the rest right here. All right. There's another kind of decent size one in here. Guys, we tore up our nets. These nets are not meant for this kind of stuff, but... Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 right there. So what does that make? Let's see, wasn't that 30? Because we had 16 in the first batch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 30, yeah, I was about right. 30, between 30 and 35, that was just kind of a rough count. But uh, quite a few creek shoves, I'll say the least, because 
you know, we didn't, we weren't able to get any really big ones, but uh, that was definitely a lot more than I was thinking we were going to get. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go across the street to the other side of the creek, and it's a lot different over there. It's a ro lot rockier, and it's a lot more narrow, and uh, we're going to start with some smaller nets, and uh, we're going to work our way along there, and we're also going to make a quick pit stop at a uh, pretty cool and crazy and kind of scary weird vibes type place so uh stick around <laughs> all right so we have made it to the other side now as you can see show them it is very rocky right here the first part of this and the other side of it is back across there i've actually went through those tunnels before nothing really in there but uh, we made a quick pit stop at the house couldn't find any smaller nets so what i did is i took one of the other nets and i took it off of the pole and i've just got this hand net that way this hand net that way I can just go in there as hard as I want to and I don't have to worry about breaking the net. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work our way along the creek and then at some point we're going to get out of the creek, uh, kind of walk diagonal towards it and well towards the shed. You guys are going to get to see it. I don't know if you, any of you guys have seen it before, um, but it's pretty it's pretty crazy. We've, we found my name in there before, so it, it all makes sense in the same. Just wait. There's not as many spots in this creek that didn't that at. And I know that looks like good spots to dip net up there, but I promise you, it's, it's not. One little bitty creek shove, pulled him right out of that little bitty hole. We'll let him go, though. I don't think we're going to get much on this side of the creek. We're just trying to get to that spot where we can get up out of it. All right, so we were walking along the creek, and then we looked up. We knew we were getting close to our spot. And if you can look, zoom in on that, you can actually see the shed that I've been talking about. It's right through there. I don't know how well you guys can see it. There's a lot of trees in the way, but... uh. We're going to start making our way there. We have not been to this shed. It's an abandoned trailer type thing in the middle of the woods. It's the craziest thing. And it's about, I'd say about 800 or so yards away behind my house. And it's so crazy because the first time we went there, we actually saw my name spray painted in there. It's the craziest thing. And I promise you we did not fake it because why, why would I fake something like this? This is not the kind of content that I make. But, um... We're going to scooch our way on over there and be careful, watch out for snakes and stuff, and uh, we're going to see what it's looking like. We haven't been in there in over a year, so uh, let's see what's happening. Oh my goodness. Dude, it is just as creepy as the first day we came up on it. Holy moly. Alright, I'm going to check the camera. Alright. Guys, this thing freaking fell through right over there. Trying to walk the edge of it so I don't fall through. Because that would not be good, Chief. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking sketchy. <laughs> you got it, bro. Be careful. Don't walk through there. Don't walk through there. No shit. <laughs> it's been so long since we've been in here. Something fell through the ceiling in there. <laughs> uh -huh. Something fell through the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Alright, so here's my name right here. This is the sketchiest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. That is legit my name. That is so freaking crazy. Now, we saw two other names. Yeah, because there's one over here. It's like Cody Alley or something like that. I don't know anyone with that name. And I think there was one more or something spray painted in here. That is just crazy, though. Like, why am I name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Crackhead's written on the wall. That's what it was. Or spray painted. Whatever it is. So we got Crackhead, Cody Alley, and my name. Wow, that's uh, quite the combination. I remember when we came in here the last time, there was like a bunch of Kool-Aid mix in here. Look, yeah, look, there's one little can of it right there. And there's one up there, and there's one up there. And I think there was some in here. I don't see any now. Oh, uh, they like... Uh you know, snack cakes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's new. I don't remember that being in here. It was? Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember it. That is absolutely insane, though. Legit my name. That's crazy. There's a bedroom in here. The other bedroom. I feel like I'm just going to fall. There was like an old boot in here I remember last time. It was creepy. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. We got some Michael Myers action going on. Yep. This place is still just as creepy as it was. I don't know why it's still here. Like, why would this thing just be chilling in the middle of the woods? I don't understand why they don't, why someone doesn't take this out or something. That is just insane. Crazy. Look, dude, there's some more Kool-Aid right there. Another freaking thing of it. Oh, yeah. Right. 
Cool, hey man, just bust through the walls. All right, well, for some of you, that was your first time seeing that. Maybe some of the OG viewers will remember that, because like I said, it's been a while since we've been up in there. Um, but uh, still just as creepy as it was. Holy moly, that is it's pretty wild. Yep. There's the deep, cool thing right there. I don't know how much I'm gonna go in there, but I'll try. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's a baby bullhead catfish. Look at that. Hang on, let me get him. Check that little guy out. Either a little brown or yellow bullhead right there. I'll let him go. But... Oh my gosh. That's a little clown. Look at that. Freshwater clown right there. A little bitty freshwater clown. That's pretty cool. Another, oh my gosh, there's more. A bunch more of those clowns. Pretty cool. All right, so we've made it back to the beginning of the creek. This one not as productive as the other side is, of course. Caught a bunch of creek chubs over there. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, caught that really nice little baby bullhead there at the end. That was kind of a surprise. Uh, but other than that, nothing too much going on in this creek. Checked out the this shed, the hunt shed, the trailer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it still looks about the same to me. Still just as creepy as it was, but... Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Also, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel because we have filmed three videos today. I think this is going to be the third one that you guys are seeing. You've already saw the other two. Uh, and if you haven't, we'll go back and watch them. But as always, though, thank you guys for watching. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.